Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi, welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We're still high from a wonderful weekend it was in Hopkinton. A blast. It was probably the most fabulous community event I've ever been to. Did it lasted for days. It, it did. really days. did. Okay. So let's savor. Let's, let's think back. Like it, it started for at least Friday. So or maybe, maybe the Easter. fountain. Yes. Dedication in the birthday cake. Yeah. And yeah. wasn't that? Amazing? It was lovely. It was just lovely. And it was neat that you know, um, I know the um, director of Parks and Recs went out to Sandy Altamira's house to personally invite her there because her mother was a Claflin and it's the Claflin fountain. Indeed. And so it was really sweet. And then. You see the, the cake Ken Weiss don't mantle made oh, the, that was oh, being pulled along oh, on a car and stuff like that. But it, that was, it, it so was kind fun. of, and it was at the field. It was um, at the parade. It was, it was everything. A fluff, the cake. Fireworks. It wasn't a real cake. You couldn't eat it. But then they had real cake. <laughs> but the, 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 the fountain came itself out for the fountain. Absolutely beautiful. beautiful. If, yeah. And, the, and the, the water, I mean, it was just so beautiful to see. It just creates a whole vibe on the common with that flowing water. A big pretty. thank you out to like uh, Popular Parks and Rex, yeah, the Garden Club, oh my Glenn gosh. Holden, yeah. um, that all really were just ever looking um, people. But, Jeff, but, that yeah. was the architect on it that did the restoration, and to whoever found that missing piece in the barn. Yeah, because oh. that I mean, without that missing piece, we wouldn't have it. it really, what's that the piece, story there? I don't know. The section missing. The middle section was missing for years. Oh wow! And so it was found, and they were able to have it restored. And you know, and thanks to the town for yeah. allotting money from CPC to actually. Cover, help right. cover restoration. Yeah. The Garden Club did amazing. We oh. were out there when they were planting. Exactly, and they and really worked like hard. But the design, the symmetry of it, uh, just volunteers. These are real pros. These gardeners. I mean, they have a green thumb. Like, they had a beautiful it, float in beautiful. the parade too. They really did. They really. And then did. the Mezzets had a float in the parade with uh, Western the nurseries. Yeah. Well, so we're getting ahead yeah, right. because so then we had Friday. Right. So and then yeah. Saturday was. Well, and if, even Friday like, night, the three of us went out. Well, oh yeah. And we ended up seeing basically a hometown, hometown favorite playing acoustically that was playing out on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. so we got yeah. to see Tim Levitt play at Marlboro Country Club and really getting, you know, it got us really keeping in the in mode the, and yeah. in the spirit and then and he was playing again yeah. the next night. Folks who don't know, Tim Levitt is in hot acoustics. So yeah, that was, a that was that the was headliner for, for Saturday. But Saturday day was Poly Arts. Absolutely. And while it wasn't 300th, it was still Poly just Arts. festive. Exactly. I think there was more vendors there than Ever. Any ever. Well, in addition to the vendors, and I'm going to do a shout out because this is ongoing. And if you haven't had your picture taken, oh, right. in and around the 300th, they are trying to do essentially a town photograph. And it's really cute. Yeah. It's called Dear Hawkington. With, Dear Hawkington. And then you write things in markers, they wash off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they take your picture. They're we runner's did. markers. Yeah. It's good for yeah. family groups, for friend groups. Um, we did it at the, at the uh, you did a work. family. No, the family three of us thing. need to do our group. Yeah, yeah. We'll but it. the, um, it'll be almost like the mosaic that you see at the high school yeah, hanging right, up. But it's a Dear right, Hoffington, right. and um, H Camp's going to be hosting a day of I think four hours here to try to get all the pictures in that we need. So it'll be posted on the H Camp site. We'll get it up we'll on get the Houseways page. So back to savoring our weekend. And let's go back so to Friday. Friday. Yeah. Well, well, okay, what, what, arts, okay. What did you do Friday during the day? Friday, do Friday during, during the, day. the day. I don't know. What did I do during Ooh, the day? It smelled good. Oh, I, oh, oh. <laughs> because it's an annual tradition. <laughs> Duh. So I, thanks to the Housewives page, there was a posting. They needed volunteers to peel apples for the library apple crisp. So Friday morning, I ran over there and did the peeling and all that. And then I got to have four of the pans. And I baked them on Friday and then delivered them uh, Saturday morning to the library, uh, friends of the library booth for their apple crisp, and they were delicious. And they were, you know, a really oh. big thank you to the page. Um, this year, um, I met with the Barbara Beale, who's president of um, the Friends of the Hoppington Library, and has worked tirelessly on this oh, issue. Those she said guys. because of the page, they had more volunteers than they've ever had oh, show up. That's so great to And it is you fun. know, Pam yeah. Waxlack said her entire back of her car was full knocked over a pan, <laughs> and, you know, it, it was, you know, yeah. it's a, it becomes a tradition. That's what I have for breakfast, every Poly Arts. Oh, I have well, to tell you, it took Arts. incredible willpower. <laughs> I was smelling it, and then I had some workmen working on the house, and they came in and they said, you do know we're working under cruel and unusual um, 
uh, conditions here. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I had well, to actually make one for them this week. <laughs> well, big testament to the weekend in Polyage for me, it was the birthday weekend, and yes. my kids come home, you know, typically, and you know, they were saying, well, mom, yeah, we want to do something special, la la la, with my husband. And I said, you know, I just want to be home for the weekend. I said, there's a lot of stuff going on in town, and I wanted them to reconnect with it. Now, my kids are in their 20s. So they initially, I mean, they like growing up here, but their eyes are rolling. They're a little too grown, too, you know, in the big city now and so forth. They are still talking about what a wonderful time they had. So uh, around poly arts in particular, I mean, you know, we, we, we always went as, as kids, you know, they went as little kids. And just beautiful day for it. Um, loved all the shopping around. But my son did say, um, you know, as much as he enjoyed walking around and hadn't been in it in a long time, I said, well, Evan, what did you like about it as a little boy? And he thought that there was, you know, there should be more things for little boys to do um, during poly arts because mm -hmm. it's really, you know, it's a what, I love it, my daughter loved it. Maybe you could you know? a table Well, something, you know, because he said that he, he said he used to buy toys, he used to, you know, decorate they, cookies. They used to be decorating yeah. cookies. Last he used thing. to be like a little wading pool with um, duct tape holes. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. And stuff, and that's where Melissa would just sit and play with them. Well, he, we, you know, my kids would go to their places that they loved and they would, we, you know, we'd have trouble leaving, it was so fun. Yeah. But loved every minute of it. Yeah. it was just great. Yeah. It was just great. And well, it's kind of like the official crossover into fall for us. Yes. You yeah. know, it becomes apple season and pumpkin season and all things it's harvesting now. It's a kick now. up. It's a yeah. kick up. Trees are turning. Yeah. I did yeah. drive here with the top down. Huh? Oh, I, yeah. I, well, I, this, I, my top is going to stay down until the first frost at least. <laughs> <laughs> so then the big, <laughs> la, la, la. the main event was oh. Saturday night with all the bands, all the food the trucks, food truck. just the, the children's oh, activities. Oh. But the, you know, just that alone. Now, I had no idea what to expect, because each point in the weekend, I kept saying to the kids, now, you know, Mom, I no. like the low key, you know, lower expectations is going to be fine. Please come. Each thing was a blowout. It from exceeded. Poly yes, exceeded expectations in every way. So we walk up to the food trucks. I mean, we walk to the back of the middle school. And we, you know, Kira says, this is like a big you know, music festival. It was. Fabulous. They had tons they of food had trucks. They had tons of variety. There and then on the lower field, they had some food trucks and they had all the balloon oh. bounces and activities for the kids and amazing things. We are just They had nuts. musicians there, but then the main stage, Hot Acoustics, the Metro West Symphony Orchestra. Oh. Kicking off the fireworks with the 1812. Oh. And honestly, oh, all, the best fireworks I've probably ever seen. Ever, ever and in I mean, my life. And I've been, you know, I've been, I've got this I've been in yes, a, yes, again, yes, you know, yes. I've been in a penthouse at the Esplanade looking out. I've been, oh, I've yeah, been, a, yes, I've been yes. at the Macy's. Uh, yes. Over watching. the years, and, been I, and major but, cities. But this has been, this was amazing. Amazing. Well, amazing. proximity is everything with fireworks. Proximity. I mean, it was beautifully done and it, with the music. Close. But we were there, like, right underneath. I, I, I was and it kept going. At the end. It kept going. It's like, you, all right, that must be the finale. No, right. there's more. It was amazing. A big shout out to Jean Burge. Oh. Really. oh, she came into she? this only a little over a year ago to kind of take yes. over the town committee and, and stare. It a lot it went on, it, but a lot of leadership. people, you know, the friends of the Hoffington, you know, did all the the fundraising. They twelve thousand dollars in bottles and cans they raised. Wow, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. Michelle Murdoch with all the media and the social media and the press, but that Jean really was the glue pin for mm -hmm. it all. And it was... I applaud the vision, even to the different things that were selected to do. It was not, it was just enough. It was, you know, way more than anybody expected. And yet, you know, it was something for everybody. Think mm -hmm. back to Saturday. I mean, that's what my son was saying. He's a 24-year-old. I mean, he said, whether you were three years old running around with your glow-up well, stick, yeah. or whether you were elderly and being wheeled in or something. And I mean, it was, was everybody. Yeah. Every Fabulous time. They brought, yeah. they Provided transportation from yeah. the senior center. Right. They the made it access. It total oh. access. Total welcoming. It was welcoming. an inclusive to It event. really was. Uh, so amazing. And you know what? You didn't feel like you got bottlenecked in a crowd getting in. No. Or, no. Getting, or out. getting out. And uh, as an FYI, there were nearly 10,000 people there. Yeah. Really? Wow. So <gasps> in a town of yeah. about 15,000 people. Wow. And I'm not saying yeah. everyone was from Hoffington. They weren't. There was surrounding communities. Of course. Sure. Came, but that's a... Yeah. The entire turnout. town was really yeah. there. Yeah. You couldn't turn somewhere without seeing a neighbor, a friend, someone you haven't seen oh, in years. Exactly. And it never felt like you were closed in, no. crowded. No. There was room on blankets and that. 
you know, I know people were sitting on the bleachers at the yeah, football field. People yeah. were on blankets. People were in yard chairs. I hope we do it again. I want to have it again. I, I, I know oh. it was an incredible undertaking. It was, but yeah, I, I, think, I know. But I maybe think something that takes years to build. If, when you when you try to say, okay, let's do it over every year, it almost takes it like people don't realize how much effort work. it takes oh, and sure. how much work. That if, if, if you could cap something like that every five years and oh, have a celebration like I'd that, I'd love it would every be huge. year. I would love but, it every I mean, year. The, I would stick to that vision. The cost and the expense and the it time. It was pretty cool, though. But, of course. But then you always end up with like, oh wow, you know, the three hundred would be better. Oh, it's like, like you know, you know, you always we want pull you want this you marathon. Want, uh, you, you want the best memory always, and this one is going to carry for a long, long time. It's going to be hard yeah. to top. It's right. definitely going to be. But then well, it was Sunday. Sunday was a little drizzly, a little cold, but and I was out there. Early stake in my spot. You, you, you've saved us five people, but I have to tell you, for the marchers, it was probably the perfect weather. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't get overheated, and it was amazing. It was amazing. That, that was a blow away, much bigger than I expected in terms of the variety and the diversity of the mummers. The Bummers? The, 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 the Freeling String Band. They oh, the I don't remember the names the of the Philadelphia different groups. Oh, yeah. The Philadelphia Mummers, they had the vi different Shriners, the Clowns. The, cl uh, the different bands, the Mariachi Band. The I love them. Oh, the, it, all the reenactment bands. The reenactment, re <laughs> you know, Civil War, Revolutionary War. Well, you the guns it. went off. Like, so, whoa. So, so favorite float. Oh, good time. I have two. You know, here's what's tough. I know who won. I understand who won. I have to tell you, in general, I like the the floats that were what I considered like kind of traditional to my homecoming style floats oh. with the crepe <laughs> paper and all that. Those oh, were yeah. cool floats. See, I like the, um, the, the I didn't even the floats were great, but I like the walkers, like the the one band that was in all those crazy costumes, the big colorful. That, that's ones. where the mummers. That's, oh, that's where the mummers. Oh, I didn't know the name. Mummers Street. They were fabulous. I love the reenactments, you know, for New England. Um, the HCA and the clowns and those little funny cars. The, HCA, yeah. the cultural arts float was amazing to have the live performance yes. going on and incorporating almost everything they do from painting oh, to photography oh, sure. to set design. Oh, that was all there. That was, yeah. all there. That was Shrek. Right. They were doing Shrek. They were performing Shrek, but they also had the USO yeah. thing. They, yeah, had, they had everything. So they had everything, and in one glimpse, you got to see what the cultural arts was, about, which I thought was great, and I know they won. Yeah. The, uh, the other two that stood out with me was actually St. John's Parish. When they were oh, right, with the church pews on the thing, and too. It was amazing. And, but the, um, was the Hopping Women's Club. And having oh, the, right. the various representatives yes, of women's excellent. religion. Mm -hmm. But when you check on marchers, the Girl Scouts. Oh, oh yeah. Having the Girl Scouts in, right. the in their Vintage. uniforms throughout time. Yeah, yeah. That My was neighbor's lovely. little daughter was 1963. Um, Morgan, yeah. Uh, it was Morgan cute. Gedman. It was so cute. It's like, uh, I mean, but those kind of things were the, and those, you know, those are kids in our town. Right. And stuff, so it was so sweet. No, we walked from, we ended up parking near Next Gen Daycare or whatever and walked up Main Street, which was a lovely walk, saying hi to folks all the way up Main Street stopping along the way to see the parade where it was. And, you know, just the whole thing. I mean, Kira, Miss New Yorker, was just like, I love Hopkinton, this is so great. You know, and then we, we walked up to the farmer's market yep. in the midst of it all, which yep. was, you know, probably a little less attended than it typically is just because of whatever proximity. But I love, I've been going there every Sunday. I mean. The, um, oh, shout out to Sabine's cuisine. She's going to have actually a kid's tent cooking tent at the uh, oh, farmer's this, market this, this farmer's Sunday. market oh, definitely. and we only Check have out. um i believe four more weeks of the farmer's Farmer. market left yeah. so make sure it's uh, one to four every sunday and it's harvest time so there are tons of goodies to get yeah. it's uh, all good yeah. i parked here at h camp mm -hmm. and so, um, so like yeah and it made it easy yeah so really when easy. i walked back <laughs> um, our producer courtney was here and we're like hey let's all like we jumped in cars and we went over to tj's to like get a bite it was late afternoon so you missed lunch the way the parades yeah. kind of was and it was kind of neat that there were so many people coming in from Hopkinton, from the parade and everything yeah. else. And everybody was in high spirits, mm -hmm. happy. Mm -hmm. Well, they were also a TJ shrinking, but <laughs> that, you know, it was it was just a very upbeat. And then you had one heck of a celebration oh, yourself. Uh, oh yes, yeah, well, getting there. there. A little <laughs> dancing thing. So let's have a toast to oh, cheers, happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday Patricia. Thank you. Thank She's twenty five. Twenty five and holding. <laughs> God. But you know, it, while we're celebrating the 300th and it's exciting, you know, birthdays, I mean, normally, you know, I don't worry about it. And, you know, what's the alternative? But, what's the alternative? <laughs> <laughs> but 
you, we have these conceptions about age and, and getting older. And you think <laughs> about when you were a kid, how turning 30 was like, oh my God, you're a real grown, you know. But each decade brings its baggage in terms of our perceptions of it. So the number itself is more the trip for me than I, the actual being there. I, I am so sorry, <laughs> but I look at it, and my, most of my siblings are older, and of course, every time they hit it, they're old, but every time I hit it, I'm young. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 exactly, <laughs> so, exactly. Just saying, I'm still so young. What did you do for your birthday? You know, well, the, the, the 300th. The 300th. I yeah. mean, literally. Um, so my attitude with the fam and everybody is like, I'm going to be this age for a whole year. So let's just keep the party all year long. So we're going to try to just do things throughout the year, you know. And uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's so cool. No, no one big thing because it was just too heavy. I was just I'm still trying to get my head around I have to tell the you, number. I so back on the 300th weekend, numbers that you know birthdays with fives and zeros. Yeah. So it hit. I <laughs> I I had a little bit of letdown from the weekend. You know, Monday it was like. Well, what are we doing next? Right. What, you know, what else is here? Well, I don't know. My kid hasn't had a full week of school yet, so. <laughs> no, <laughs> she it came home at a half day because of the, hol the, the Jewish holiday on that's Monday. That's true. And then Happy she has New another Year's to yes. you know, all of our Rosh Jewish Shana. friends mm -hmm. and, and uh, celebration. And, uh, Absolutely. But, you know, it was, it was really pretty fantastic. Now, we have um, things happening this weekend. We have, oh, so yes. the center trail had the art. And this weekend, they have poetry on the trail. Right. So need to check that out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's on the HCA website. Yep. And, uh, it's been on the Royal Housewives website. Yeah. Stuff. So if you haven't seen the trail, There's please a go. neighbor go to again. neighbor 5K that's taking off in Holliston. Holliston, mm -hmm. Sunday morning. Um, and it's got a little bit of hills to it, but it's actually a very nice walk. It's a walk I can and crawl run. It. <laughs> it's, a lo it's to raise local money for local charities. And so it's a charity. Event. Mm -hmm. And even though it's in Holliston, it's all in the community. So, you know. Yeah. Now I know in two weeks the um, elementary school building is having an important vote on the 30th with MSBA is coming up. Right. Um, and and yeah. inform yourself about that. It's it's another milestone that we actually hit this past weekend too. Is our the Real Housewives page went what? over 1,400. Wow. wow. So I mean, another cheers wow. to us. Yeah. There you go. Big number. It's popular. And it's popular and stuff like that. And you know, there's you know, requests for different guests to come on, things like that. So always send us feedback. Let, let us know what Absolutely. you know what you guys want. Well, I'm, you know, I'm excited that um, we're being referred as the uh, go-to for individuals who are moving to town and want to move to town. You said recently the um, church the church referred us, referred us the town for resources, us. and that the I'm police have exactly. And having had Denise Hildreth on this show oh. and introducing her to the page around the services in town has brought in, you know, more you know, information, you know, we're a go-to resource for info in town. Well, I mean, there's a way, since you brought up Denise, you know, I think all of us got some private messages after having Denise yes. on. Mm -hmm. Yes. And her phone started ringing a lot. <coughs> one is we brought to light a service that most of the community didn't even know existed. Yes. Yeah. And free. Free. Right. And, you know, from, you know, this person, she's now helping someone who just lost a grandparent, a job. She's helping two girls with anorexia I know of. that are all in our community, and their mothers were reaching out saying, we didn't even know this existed. There's a girl that's getting help for anxiety, all because of that we put it up on the page and we had her on the show. Well, and, and on a broader perspective, so we, we had a major milestone in the page, mm -hmm. but what has been the vibrancy of the page is all the users and how they interact how they use the page and what they make and add value, and yep. that's the piece. So that's a, that's an example exactly. of the value add of right. the page, and we it are. really is. Um, it's a vehicle, a, platform, and a tool, a platform. platform for information sharing, for uh, you community, know, for community engagement, and, and we'll put the link up on today's show. Yeah. But yeah. you know, and there are some basic rules. You know, don't bash people. We're you know trying to be. Let's all be good neighbors as right. much as possible. I mean, I do have the Democratic delegate thing on a Saturday. But we but are, I mean, we are, but, you know, bipartisan in every way. Right. But really. so we don't, um, but we're also not trying to be self promoting. So if, if you have a business, maybe on occasion shout it out, things like that. But, you know, if, it, if it's repetitive and things like right. that, it is primarily for women in Hockington. 
some women that are from surrounding communities that might have a direct ties to us or family right. direct ties. And some so people some who've grown up in Hopkinson yeah, and, some of these and still want to stay connected. And it's absolutely not a, you know, the page is for adult women. So, you know, just to have it out there that there are some basics to it and um, it's yeah. been a very good networking platform absolutely. and a support platform within our community. Absolutely. So and I think I'll yeah. just also say too, if you are trying to get on the page, and we get a lot of those kind of calls, and, and you're not being approved, contact one of us because we just want to understand the connection a little bit yeah. more. And, and, and that's really, we're, we're as uh, protective as we can be in terms of trying to understand. But there's now 1,400 people. Um, if you turn yeah. out to be a Filipino gentleman looking for a white male. We're going to turn you down. Get to the <laughs> you know, if you're someone who You get all those requests. If you're right. just someone who wants to sell us stuff constantly, you're right. probably either going to get turned down or booted or, off at some point. Right. Um, but I mean, really, it's for us to support one another, community enrichment, and to be there and right. stuff. Make so, new and, friends. And a little <laughs> bit of looking ahead with the page. We have uh, some events coming, coming up. up in the community. Um, we have the Milford Hospital um, paint night. And paint then, night, um, save the date. The save date date's going to go out in the next two days. And with a and link. this is really sponsored by Golden it's Palm. Called, it's by Golden Palm. Mm -hmm. We're going to be a, a, a supporting partner with it. And um, it's, it's a paint date on October 22nd. Yeah. We also have one trivia team, almost two filled trivia for, night. for the trivia night um, that the HEF is doing oh, with, yeah. um, in support of the elementary school building committee. We'll have a special town meeting. And that night is October... No, you got to check the page. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's coming up. So the October, HEF October, trivia October, night October fundraiser. Fest is coming up for the library Yay, in that'll October. Be fun. So there's a ton of things going on. And we're you doing know, shopping for a cause again and we're in doing December. For cars for it's December. December. And it's December 2nd, so you yeah. can save the date now. It's going to be Wednesday, December 2nd. Back at Golden Pond. Um, and also people have already started, you know. Next weekend is Live for Evan, Evan's Run for okay. Heart Disease Awareness and Fundraising um, here in town. Yeah. Um, and and, um, yeah. anything, and, and, of and other things football. are in the, in the hopper. You know, We're working football on games stuff. are coming up. <laughs> a lot of things happening in town. Um, yeah. and, and over the past couple of weeks, I've done a transition to supporting the Sportsman's Club in Dorchester. Yes. Um, it's a nonprofit. Good job for you, yes. Um, and it's a contract and helping get sponsorships for them. Uh, one of their biggest partners is actually EMC. Oh, and wow. And EMC is basically a diamond partner for their educational enrichment. And so they have a Very gala good. coming up in January. And I'll throw up the logo on the page and stuff like that, oh. too, to let people know about it. But it is the oldest African-American tennis club in the country. It services 5,000 youth and adults in the Blue Hill um, Court. Which so glad reminds me of the two-day event in October at the, Center Sheraton. For, at the Sheraton that Center for Women mm -hmm. Enterprise is putting on. It's a great event with marquee speakers, uh, Robin Chase, founder of Zipcar, Helen Greiner, uh, founder of iRobot, oh. and I can't remember the third now, sorry, um, but it's a day and a half at the Sheraton Terra. I went last year and it was really good. And I'm hoping, awesome. and we'll throw that up on the page. I, they have a business plan competition, and I'm a judge and a mentor in, in that. Right. Um, I'm mentoring one of the, the businesses. Um, but it's a That's fabulous exciting. event, a lot of leadership, a lot of sharing and learning, and so we'll throw that up, and it's in our backyard. So. And I have to say, too, that uh, other members of the page, if they are if you're involved in a particular um, nonprofit, a nonprofit yeah. that you want to showcase, whether it's specific to Hopkinton or not, um, you know, put, put it up there because it's all about connecting and uh, relationships yep. and activities, you know, all, all to, uh, to support good things. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's so exciting. Well, Absolutely. you're very involved in the nonprofit community. So. I do. And I always have to be careful because I have so many nonprofit clients that I'd be, you know, and I do, I, I, I'm always sort of promoting their galas and their, um, their searches. Yeah. There's some incredible career opportunities in some of these organizations. So. Um, it's an interesting opportunity for people who are looking to do mission-based work professionally and um, apply their skills as, as uh, you know, finance people, human resources. I'll be, I'll be sharing some information about that. I'm doing a, a search for a major uh, social service agency who's looking to support their wonderful culture. They're one of the best places to work in Rhode Island. Oh, cool. So it's a very, you know, well, times have changed. Yep. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Well, and I'm taking on a quick little project that's in the 
the Brave series with a couple of women entrepreneurs on this, you know, getting their business plans together and getting um, their whole leadership. Well, mm -hmm. and then talking milestones, you're taking actually a quick trip this weekend someplace. My That's mom is going to be 90 days. years young this weekend. <laughs> so we See, I mean, yeah. Well, and she she's is a robot. rocking yes. it. Oh, she, she really is. is. I know. Independent yeah. living, sharp. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm just so excited for her. Well, you know, I just, birthdays, I still, town celebrations, <laughs> festivals, fireworks, trips. Absolutely, life yeah. is good. Yeah. Life is good. Going on this, life is. You know, I'm even getting, you know, more. The, the fall is beautiful. You yeah. can. We're having the most picturesque days. I was oh. sitting. Yeah. Oh, oh, our, our our trip in the fall. Darling's husband Nate. Darling's husband is an incredible. Apple turnovers. Exactly. They're beautiful. So. We'll be biting into them later. Yeah. <laughs> in, a, in less than a minute, probably. Yeah. Less than a minute, probably. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, so always keep us posted, though. If there are things you want shout-outs on the show or on the page, and say, yeah, let us and, know. You know, if you, and if you question whether it's appropriate or a right fit, just private message any of us. Exactly. Um, exactly. We're easy to find. <laughs> um, but, um, we have day jobs, but we are we are active. That's why it's great to have a team working together on all this and keeping up. You, you know, the neat thing about our team is that you know we complement one another. None of <laughs> our strong points are all different. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it really is. <laughs> God forbid, don't let me ever touch anything with numbers. <laughs> oh, you know, and marketing is not my thing. <laughs> Well, yeah, we do it all. We all do it all to some yeah. extent. It's fun. So, but it's that's fun. the whole thing with being, you know, women's head of households. And, exactly. And that the whole mission, whether. Whatever we're we have married, to do. single, divorced, widowed. Whatever age, out there kids shopping. No kids. <laughs> <laughs> out there shopping for someone new. It's, it, it all fits. Exactly. Live and large. So, you know. It's awesome. Okay. Absolutely. Cheers, HCB. Cheers. All right. So, happy happy fall. Good week. Right. See you. Thanks for joining us.